Our universe is a web of interactions, a grand cosmic expansion governed by a set of fundamental forces. These forces, like invisible strings, dictate how particles interact, shaping the fabric of reality as we know it. The forces I am talking about are four, which are very well known. But today we will go deep into a fascinating idea. The idea of consciousness being a force that interacts with the universe. The first force, and perhaps most familiar, is gravity. It's the force that anchors us to the Earth, guides the planets in their orbits, and sculpts the grand structure of galaxies across the cosmos. Next comes electromagnetism, the force responsible for the dazzling array of light and color we perceive the electricity that powers our homes, and the magnetism that guides compasses. Then, we delve into the heart of atoms, where the strong nuclear force reigns supreme. This powerful force binds protons and neutrons together, forming the very core of matter. Finally, we encounter the weak nuclear force, a more subtle player responsible for radioactive decay, a process essential for the life cycle of stars, and the creation of elements beyond hydrogen. These four forces, intricately interwoven, paint the tapestry of our physical reality, from the smallest subatomic particles to the largest cosmic structures. But what if, within this intricate dance of forces, a hidden partner awaits discovery? What if consciousness, the very essence of our being, is not merely a product of complex brain activity, but a fundamental force in its own right. A fifth force shaping the universe alongside gravity, electromagnetism, and the nuclear forces. This question, at the crossroads of physics and philosophy, has captivated scientists and thinkers for centuries. Could it be that our minds, our thoughts, our very awareness, are not merely passengers on a preordained cosmic journey, but active participants? influencing the unfolding drama of the universe? To explore the possibility of consciousness as a fifth force, we must first venture into the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. Unlike classical physics, which describes a deterministic universe where cause and effect reign supreme, quantum mechanics introduces an element of randomness and uncertainty. At the subatomic level, particles exist in a superposition of states, their properties undefined until measured. This act of measurement, some theorize, is where consciousness enters the picture, collapsing the wave function and influencing the outcome of events. Quantum field theory, a framework that underpins much of modern physics, proposes that the universe is not composed of discrete particles but rather of continuous fields that permeate all of space and time. These fields, like ripples on a pond, carry energy and information, and their interactions give rise to the particles we observe. Could consciousness be one such field, a fundamental aspect of reality interwoven with the fabric of the cosmos? If consciousness were a field, it could potentially interact with matter and energy in ways that transcend our current understanding. This interaction could explain the seemingly paradoxical phenomena observed in quantum mechanics, such as entanglement, where two particles remain connected regardless of distance, their fates intertwined as if by an invisible thread. Imagine a universe where our thoughts, our intentions, our very presence, send ripples through this field of consciousness, influencing the unfolding of events at both the microscopic and macroscopic levels. This intriguing possibility, while speculative, opens up a realm of scientific and philosophical inquiry, challenging our assumptions about the nature of reality and our place within it. The idea that consciousness could be intertwined with quantum phenomena has led to the development of groundbreaking theories, such as the orc or model proposed by renowned physicist Sir Roger Penrose and anesthesiologist Stuart Hameroff. Orch OR suggests that consciousness arises from quantum computations within microtubules, tiny structures found within brain cells. 
Microtubules long believed to be involved in cell structure and function are now being investigated for their potential role in information processing. Penrose and Hameroff propose that microtubules act as quantum computers, their intricate structure allowing for the delicate dance of superposition and entanglement. This quantum coherence, they argue, is the key to consciousness, with the collapse of the wave function giving rise to our subjective experiences. While the orc or model remains controversial, it has sparked intense debate and inspired further research into the relationship between quantum mechanics and consciousness. Could it be that our brains are not merely biological computers, but rather sophisticated quantum devices tapping into a deeper level of reality? The exploration of this question continues to push the boundaries of neuroscience, physics, and our understanding of what it means to be conscious. Beyond the specific mechanisms proposed by theories like Orch or, a more fundamental question arises. Is consciousness a property inherent in the universe itself? This concept, known as panpsychism, challenges the traditional view that consciousness emerges solely from complex biological systems, suggesting instead that it is a fundamental aspect of reality, present even at the level of elementary particles. Panpsychism, with its roots in ancient philosophy, has recently gained traction among some physicists and philosophers as a potential solution to the hard problem of consciousness. How does subjective experience arise from physical matter? If consciousness is not an emergent property, but rather a fundamental one, then the universe is not a collection of inert matter but a web of interconnected minds, each contributing to the symphony of existence. This perspective, while radical, offers a profound shift in how we view ourselves and the cosmos. It suggests that we are not isolated beings in an indifferent universe, but rather integral parts of a conscious whole, our thoughts, feelings, and actions contributing to the grand tapestry of existence. While panpsychism remains a speculative idea, it provides a fertile ground for exploring the nature of consciousness and its place in the universe. Finally, let's talk about the future of consciousness research. This field, it's evolving rapidly, with new theories and discoveries emerging all the time. The potential implications are, well, they're enormous. From understanding the nature of reality to exploring new realms of human experience, the future of consciousness research is, without a doubt, incredibly exciting.